everyone, welcome back to It's All Eats. We're at Dream World. Why are we at Dream World? Because every Friday and Saturday night at 5 p.m., they got all food stalls. They pump it through the entire Dream World. Everywhere shuts down, the rides shut down, but it turns into a big food festival type thing. So let's go through. So it's like the side door, you know, you don't go in the normal door. You go in the side door and you cut straight through here. Oh, who would have thought? Who would have thought, brother? Oh, my. Tower of misery, tower of death. I'm not gonna lie, I was here a little bit earlier sneaking on the rides. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see in here, bro, they, they fill it up, they bring music out, and it just gets filled, legit food trucks. Legit food trucks, brother. <laughs> it's catching on. Moldy food, brother. We're getting a hungry lad, that's huge. Hey, mate, how are you? Can I get a hungry steam pudding, oka, fried bread? That's it. Custard and cream? Yeah, please. Yum. What's in the hungry? Pork, chicken. Lamb, potato. Everything's in there. Yum. Yeah. Potato, sweet potato. Cabbage, cabbage stuffing. Hey, let's go. Yeah, 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 beautiful. Actually, good prices. You expect like the novelty in the food trucks of a novelty place to be there. In Sydney, that would be there. Beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, brother. Let's go. Pra. Straight to the island of food as soon as we get here. Cause I'm Jeet, actually. First food store we go past is island of food, Ilche. Can you stay out of it, mate? Cameraman, I've been with you all day. Sick of ya. We're gonna divorce. Fried bread. Let's go, brother. A little hungry here, lad. Hungry's like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Put it all together and mwah. Wow. Oh, that smells like legit. That smells legit, cuz. Wow. Wow. Brother, that smell was vicious when I opened that. You know that, that oil that is just, you know, the oil from the roast. That was waiting, the smells are waiting to come out of that for fire like 12 hours. Like, ah, come here, I'll kill ya. Yum. Hectic. Hectic. Hey, we don't have to add our own music to this episode. We got the music pumping. Yum. Yum. It's like a slow roast. It's pretty much a slow roast, but a moist roast. With the meat, all different meats, veggies, all together in a moist, slow roast. It's the best way to explain it. The pork. Whoa. That pork smells intense, bro. I was about to scoff it and I, ooh, Ilcha, I gotta prepare for this. Why does it smell so intense? Oh, yum. Yum. Mm. This is the first time I've ever had a hungry. I've ate hungry food. The first time ever. Gone, gone. Oh, wait a minute. What am I talking about, cuz? I miss the goodness. I miss the goodness. We're talking about cuz. Well. How did I nearly miss you? Yum. The old fry bread. Fry bread. What we eat that with? I'll dip it in the oka. Oh, right, I'm not gonna lie here. Oh, they call it raw fish, because they're Maoris. Samoan, it's oka. Oh, I'm an oka connoisseur, cuz. I love oka, bruh. So I better be on point. You know what? They put, they put coleslaw in it. No, no. It's raw fish, lemony 
with the slightest coconut base. It tastes like, you know, coleslaw juice. It tastes like it's in coleslaw. It is in coleslaw. It's still all right, but dramatically worse than the other way. Lemon, coconut juice, a bit of chili, onion. The sick cars, no coleslaw. I'll still pump a bit. I don't know, cuz you can't, my opinion, you can't put oka in coleslaw. Come on. Oh, bro, I was thinking for oka too, I'm not gonna lie. But it's all right. Pudding, cuz. We're on the puddings. I'm not gonna lie, cuz. I prefer Samoan food so much. So much more. <laughs> Straight cream, straight custard. This one's in straight custard. Yum. This one's in straight cream. They love cream. Islanders love cream. Everything, cream, cream, cream. <laughs> That's nice. I'm not gonna polish that. We've got a million food trucks to go. Let's go. That's all right. It's all right. I don't know if it's just them. I don't know if that's how Maoris do it. I'm not sure, cuz, but... Yeah. I prefer the other way a hundred times more. Where's the in-buzzy? I'm getting a crane ski. Frankfurt. The hot and spicy, brother. How are you, mate? What do you sell them as, hot dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get a bratwurst? Of course. What do you put on it? Do I choose? Uh, I can use sauerkraut on it. Yeah, sauerkraut. Um, and mustard. Yep. Yep. And tomato sauce, please. Uh, and can I get... Can you do me one of those? How do I pronounce the hot and spicy one? I've never heard of that. Debrenzina. De Debrenzina. De yeah, get one of those, please. Bratwurst and Debrenzina. For Stuttgart, huh? Where's Rockwurst from? Everything's from Germany. Yeah, yeah. Bratwurst? Yeah. Let's go. Put this one, one. Okay, me till I pay. Can't hold them in both hands, and how am I gonna pay, mate? Thank you very much. You know what, $18 for two hot dogs, that's, all, that's good. Remember, at Vivid, $22 for one hot dog. You know what I'm noticing already about this place? It's cheap. That's surprising, maybe it's a Queensland thing, I don't know. Thank you, brother. Let's go over here, cuz. There's a three minute rule here in, in, in the Gold Coast. What's this, bratwurst? We'll see how it goes. Oh! Wow! Wow! Legit! Legit! Every single part of that is legitimately German. Remember what I said when I got the bratwurst at River? The mustard was, nah, proper. Yum. Guys, the whole thing, the Debrenzina. Oh, what? Oh. Yum, bro. How do I explain the Debrenzina? Not really like a chorizo, not like a salami. Still has the, it actually still tastes like a bratwurst, right? With a little bit of spice, not much. They're German, it's not gonna be spicy. Well, well. Got that, that sauerkraut, cracker. Cracker mustard, cracker sauerkraut, cracker sausages. Good quality, all of that. Yeah, but I want it don't feed. We're talking about cars. I ain't the bread. That's all fancy you could hear by matey was a German, you know? This is gone. Just the highest quality German saucissi, mad sauerkraut. Well, the mustard does it. Straight away when I beat the bratwurst hot dog at Vivid, 
As soon as I tasted the mustard, I'm just thinking, man, like, no, no, you know? Kebabs. Kebabs, brother. You know what I've always heard? Queensland don't have a clue how to make kebabs. I've always heard that. Everyone says that. Everyone says, yes, it's sunny, this and that, but kebabs, they just got no idea. So we'll sauce it out, brother. There's a kebab truck here, you know? You know, I've done best kebabs here, best kebabs there, you know? So we'll see, cuz. Their sizes for the kebabs, small and large. Queensland's a full different place, eh? Let's see. I'll get a small. Hey, mate, how are you? Can I get a kebab, please? Chicken kebab. Yeah, chicken kebab, please. Uh, it's small, small. Uh, yeah, put cheese on it. No, I Alright. Hot chili? And garlic yogurt, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Suss it out, brother. See how their kebabs go, mate. I oh, don't know, but it's a bit. It's a bit yuppy. It's a bit yuppy with this mini kebab. $14. $14 for a small kebab. Let's see how we go. Oh, no, guys. Ordinary kebab. Nothing to complain about. Ordinary kebab. It's all right. It's all right. You know, I reckon up here, they'd froth it, but... <laughs> oh, this in them. Nah, sorry, Queenslanders. Ordinary kebab, but what do you want me to say? No. Barely any cheese. Ask for cheese. No garlic flavour whatsoever. Ask for a garlic sauce on there. There's chilli sauce on there. The chicken's cooked. Other than that, not much meat on it whatsoever. It's mainly packed with salad. Look at the ratios. A little bit of meat here. You think he would have taken that as his time to shine, considering there was two big cameras in his face? And he didn't. So, anyway, that is what it is. Let's move on. I had to get a, a dream world kebab, you know? I had to get a dream world kebab. Kebabs are a staple for the show, aren't they? The whole world, everywhere we go. When we're overseas, kebabs, you know it. And not just the rides. Look at this place. It's a bit dark, man. A bit more lighting, you know? Anyway, let's go. We're a food show. Right? We're not a, a, a decorating show. Flaming ribs. Flaming ribs. It's on cars. Well, flaming ribs. Hello, mate. Can I get barbecue pork ribs, please? Thank you. Beautiful. What they got here? Barbecue pork ribs, $21. Big brisket, $19. I'm all done with brisket. I'm brisketed out. Brisket and me, it's not exciting, mate. After that meat festival, brisket, brisket, brisket. But I'm done. All right, cheeky chook, 19. That's me. Thank you very much. All good. Let's go. Comes with a mac and cheese. <sighs> I don't know if I ordered the mac and cheese or if they just chucked it in because they seen the samurakishas. Maybe it does come with it. Red roll, yeah? Mac and cheese. Barbecue pork ribs, let's see. All of this was 21. That's not bad. Barbecue pork ribs, half a snack -ish. Yeah. I've never been a fan of mac and cheese. Me, I don't like mac and cheese, cuz, but if I dip a bit of the sauce. The sauce is nice. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Who's gonna lie about that? Me? No way, cuz. Yes. 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 Very marinated, even before the barbecue sauce. It's well marinated, then like a spicy marinade, very light spicy. Very like a Cajun marinade. The barbecue sauce, sweet barbecue. Not smoky, it's nice. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's fallen off the own base. It's not, it's pretty tough, but it's all right, it tastes nice. I reckon I could have used a bit more barbecue sauce. I'm not going to lie. Who's going to lie about that? Not me? No, no way, cuz. 
Yeah, I could have used a bit more sauce. Who's gonna lie about that? Me? Nah, I'm just joking. You know, man. Say it all the time. Now, man, what are you looking at, man? It's my show. It's my show, brother. I say what I want. You don't like it? Change channel, mate. That's right, you won't, will ya? You're still here. Hello? Hey, you're still here. I said it 20 seconds ago and you're still here. Complain. Have a cry. Drop a comment. Tell me you hate me. Anyway, now I'm right. Let's move on. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. The more I ate it, the more I didn't like it. At the start, well, at the end, let's move on. <laughs> we'll keep it nice. I, 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 you know, it's so hard to open, so I opened it to here, and I just went, I couldn't be bothered opening it, cuz. Let's move on. Good halloumi, Greek salad, bread, domades, tzatziki, and chips. Stop it. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good. Can I get a lamb plate, please? You can have whatever you like. Thank mate. you, brother. Thank you, brother. Look. Good halloumi, Greek salad, breads, domades, domades, vine leaves, tzatziki dip, and chips. Let's go, cuz. There's a lot for me to judge here. I'm gonna be all over this one, like a sweaty rash. I'll get deep in there and I'll discover. Nah. <laughs> I'm G for this one. Please don't disappoint me. Here you are, my friend. Thank you, brother. Opa. Beautiful. Yes, Thank you. Well, <laughs> let's cut, lad. We're talking about cars. Cars. Let me see this, there's so much for me to judge. The halloumi. Good. You know when you bite it and it's squeaking on your teeth? That's good halloumi. Well, well. There's that tzatziki, a little bit of olive oil on top. I'm liking that. Let me taste there. Oh, the cheese, the calamares. All right, calamara test. Get off me, cheese. It's pitted. We'll see how it goes. The calamara test is, that wasn't great. I ranked that in the lower 30% of calamatas I've had. Let's go with the cheese. Yum. Cheese is gone. The domade in the tzatziki, I mix around the olive oil. Oh! Well. Yum. Look at these. Now that tzatziki goes put it, I put on the lamb. Let's cut, bro. Let's start eating this. This is the one I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cry because I have to have a few bites and leave it. Yum, yum. Lamb's man. Lamb is cooked perfectly. Fattiness to it, nice pop to it. Big chunk of cheese. The cheese is a little. A little creamy for me. I wouldn't say it's Danish feta, but it's getting close to it. Danish feta, still got the flavor, a little bit lighter, but a real buttery texture. Greek said it should be a firmer, firmer texture. But it's good. The chips are cooked a little while ago. I'm not going to lie about that, cuz. Who's going to lie about that, me? No way, cuz. But the lamb's mad. The halloumi is nice. The halloumi is yellow, cuz. I don't know why. Done. Gotta leave it at that. I'll pop one more calamaro with a cheese on top for good luck. Hectic. Hectic. Look, it's not a great restaurant. For a food truck in Dream World, I'm surprised. I'm happy with that. That's quality. Imagine if this is the only thing you ate, you're sat in here with your toasted bread, dipping in the, the tzatziki, you got your halloumi, lemon on the top, the chips they should be conscious. I know like it's a little bit harder, but make them on, on demand. Make them on demand. I don't know, cause like, it's because the heat is not gonna transfer from the other ingredients to warm your chips up. Like the meat on top of it's not enough. The chips are not warm. That's the only thing, but still everything else was good. Let's go, what else we got? 
Dumplings. Mini Dutch pancakes. What are we getting? Shobis and Nutella, traditional, the lot, banana and Nutella, shobis and cream. What do you reckon? You know, I'm not gonna lie, none of those sound too traditional to me. None of those sound that, I'm Dutch, mate, I'll fight you. I will fight you serving your Nutella pancakes and calling them Dutch, mate. I will send you snap kicks from Vosch Gym in Amsterdam, right? Don't mess with me, K1 champions, right? We're all out, you know? Anyway, I'll get one. Okay, Hello, mate. Can I get strawberries and cream? Small, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, buzzaroo. You get a buzzaroo. I'll have a little taste, cuz. I haven't got much room in my stomach for food. Just don't burn yourself, because the wife has a tendency to laugh. What is it? <laughs> That's a pork dumpling. Pork dumpling, brother. He gave me one. I don't have enough. In my stomach, you know, scoff for more, you know? Not a skipperoo. Pork dumplings. That's a proper dumpling, guys. What are you talking about? That's a proper dumpling. That's nice. That was good. That was good. Cheers, man. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll go around here. We'll go in front, front of the lights, camera's action, brother. Oh. All right, cuz. Dutch style pancakes. Cream. Let's go, let's get it all. <laughs> Yum. Caramel sauce. It's like that stroop sauce. Not the grouse's stroop sauce, but yeah, it's grouse. Cream sweet, strawberries are sour, pancakes are hot. What more can you ask for? Yum. Hector's, right? That's him, brother, finished. Polish, 17 seconds flat, let's cut. I polish that quicker than I steal a Ford laser, let's go. <gasps> Spaniard. Hey, do Brother. Hey. <laughs> Are the show bags here? That's him, we're off. We're done and dusted. Back to the exit. Nay! <laughs> That's the food stores at Dreamworld. Every Friday, Saturday night after 5 p.m. Goes all right, it goes all right. It's good that they're making use of that space, you know what I mean? How's the food there? It's all right food, it's all right food. Some things were better than others. My favorite thing there, definitely the most authentic thing I had there was German matey with his sausages, right? The bratwurst, and I can't remember how to pronounce their spicy one, but yeah. You know what they could do there to make it a bit better? Light the place up. Make people feel like they're still in a theme park, even though the theme park's closed. Because look, I'll be real with you, every single ride there is turned off. And not only that, that's fair enough, but all the lights on it are turned off. It's, it's essentially pitch black. The place isn't lit well. You may as well just be in the back of a little alley. Because like, it takes away the fact or the novelty for people to come from other parts of this, the country to Dreamworld. Because imagine there's like lights flying around, the rides are lit up and that, it'd be mad. It'd look mad in photos, but that's a bit underwhelming. But I don't know, is it a new thing? They might be building on that. But the food's all right, cuz. My favorite food is, like I said, bro, that German mate, he's doing it well. Anyway, that's Dreamworld Food Stores, laters.